hey guys what's up so today i will talk about how you should you know learn the automations usually what i see the way a lot of people they learn automations actually it's a wrong way to learn the automations the automations does not mean that you start with a tool and write some script and then you say that you are very good into the automations no it's a wrong definition of automations right when we say automations automations does not mean a tool automations means you are able to automate a process you are so when you say you are automations engineer which means you can automate any stuff which will come to your plate or which will come which will the activity which will assign to you okay automations does not mean that you write five linear scripts and you are automations engineer no you are wrong and the second thing is how you should learn the automations so any automations tool irrespective of any automations tool first what you do is you see that what is the supported language by that tool so let's say if i'll take an example of selenium java is supported uh, in fact other language also supported by selenium but java is widely used so you will start with the java you go with the core java first you complete the entire core java be very good in the core java then go with the core java programming be very good into the programming so that once you are good in the programming you will have the ability of writing the code and then you will start with test ng framework be very very good in the test ng framework and then I start with selenium locator writings I write the locators of some somewhere somewhere 100 200 locators and then you start with selenium scripting write some 50 200 scripts and then I start with the selenium framework and then go with the Jenkins tutorial which we call it as a continuous integration tool we call it as a continuous integration tool because what happens is the moment uh, you do any check-in to your project and if you configure your Jenkins, so Jenkins will be listening to your code base and the moment you do any change it, it will trigger the build automatically, right? So that's how you should follow the approach and once you are good with Jenkins, you learn some uh, source code management tool, either Git repository or SBN, both are fine. So any one you can learn, right? So do not jump directly into the framework design and you will not understand anything. Again, when you are starting with the selenium read about the selenium what does mean by selenium what are the browser has been supported by selenium how selenium works what are the language selenium supports uh, what is the challenge of selenium what are the what, i mean what are the applications which selenium cannot support right go one by one within two months you cannot be automation senior it will take some time so let's say if somebody would have learned for seven years ten years and same thing you cannot learn in the two years right in two months you can just know how to write the script but the process you will never learn the challenge we will you will never learn and once you will go into the company you will get a lot of challenge which you will not able to handle it so my suggestion is take a time okay plan it plan it let's say plan for uh, two weeks or plan for one month say that okay one month i'm going to learn core java in very good uh, in, in the d then again 15 days i will learn the programming and then uh, 10 days I will spend on locator writings. Then uh, 5 days I will spend on test ng framework design. And then uh, 2 months I will work on only selenium scripting. I will design all the script. And then I will go over the framework. And then I will run the Jenkins. So that's how you should plan for you know 4-5 months. Second thing is. Usually what I see is. Uh, I, I learned selenium. I want to put experience of 3 years, 4 years. Boss it's not possible at all. Okay. Four years experience in automations means a lot. So when you will go for any company as your automations engineer, uh, you will not get a task only to write the UI automations. You will get a lot of tasks. You will get server side automations. You will get back end automations. You will get uh, Unix side automations. You will get uh, some service automations, right? And in fact, sometimes you will get automations which you would not have expected. A uh, lot of hidden things which will come in your way which you need to automate that and that comes only when if you are if you have a very sound background if you are very good in the Java you are very good into the analytical skills you are very good into the core Java programming you are good in the hibernate right and you have the ability to learn the new things that's where you can say that I have experience of four years right so my suggestion is do not hurry okay take a time learn the things okay uh, within one month two months nobody can teach you and uh, believe me though you'll go for the interview you'll get rejected two times three times and then you know you'll uh, lose the patience and you say that no i cannot be automation engineer no it takes times right 
uh, anything it will not come overnight it will take some time and believe me if you'll put your four or five months effort dedicatedly you can easily go as automations engineer but for that you need to spend the time second thing is uh, what happens is uh, uh, when we say automations uh, usually what comes to the mind is automations means uh, you go to the company on very first day you will get some feature you have to automate no it's a wrong perception when you join any company first what happens first two months you need to learn the product once you know the product then you should know how the product we, you can use actually and then you need to go through the uh, the product functionality once you have very good knowledge of product functionality uh, then you will start with the automations yes few company on very first week they will ask you to design the automations yes i know that but usually uh, on very first week you cannot design the script why because you know you need to know the feature flow you need to know the application flow you need to know the background of the applications then only you can do the automations right so that's how you should follow the strategy guys and i hope that this video will help you guys uh, to understand how you should go for the automations so always follow the plan core java core java programming then test ng then locator writings a scripting framework jenkins and then source code management tool thank you guys thank you for watching this hope you like this video and this video will be uploaded to my playlist thank you guys thank you once again